Hey guys, and welcome to another review here. I am pretty excited today. I've got a couple of new products that I'm going to talk about. One of them is something I've been waiting a long time for. That is the Above the Tie um, SE1 Bamboo Single Edge. And so, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful razor. Look at that. What a beauty. It's really, really nice. I don't know if you can see that there. Just beautiful. Um, I've already loaded it with a Feather uh, Pro Blade. This is the box that it came in. Really nice box. Open it up there and uh, there was a business card in there when I first opened it up. So very nice. This is stainless steel um, and uh, it's, uh, it's very well crafted. Just a beautiful handle. Just, I think that's actually what sold me on this razor when I first saw it, is that handle. Really, really nice. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited to use this for the first time today. Um, so, I've got another product that I'm going to look at today, and I'm going to use it at the end. Uh, I know many of you have seen my Perazzo Sandalwood uh, review, where I review the Perazzo Soap, and I also use the Perazzo pre-shave cream. The, this is the sandalwood scent. Uh, it is one of my all-time favorite scents. Uh, I actually think that it's probably an, one of my best or one of my favorite combinations to use. Uh, it, I just get a great shave with that every single time. And uh, today I get to complete that series with the Perazzo sandalwood aftershave lotion. They call it aftershave lotion. It's a, it's a splash, but it's uh, again with sandalwood oil and shea oil. So uh, near the end of the video, I'll be using that and I'll talk about how I feel about that. Haven't used any of these yet. So I guess it's a review, but it's really, it's more almost like a, like a, you know, how I felt about it the first time I used it, kind of like a first impression. So I'm just loading the brush here. And man, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it again. This is one of my all-time, all-time, all-time favorite scents. Absolutely love this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start a face lather. Beautiful. Okay. So. I'm going to show you how to load this here. Is take the top cap. So you take the top cap, and let's try to get this for the camera here. You place it right in. See those little nooks there? You got to place that right in there. So you get that in there like so. Hopefully you can see that there. And you take the bottom cap. Put that under, and it clicks right in, and you screw that on. There you go there. And I'm going to start the shave. Okay. I'll tell you right off the bat how it feels. Um, I'm used to using, this is coming from somebody who uses an Edwin Jagger DE89. Um, can definitely feel that blade, definitely. Um, it's not aggressive, I wouldn't say it's aggressive, but it's definitely more aggressive than that DE89. Um, so just nice light strokes here I'm taking. Wow, feels nice, feels really nice. Just, and it's uh, obviously it's, a, it's a, a lengthier blade. So yeah, you can really get a lot of real estate there in one, uh, in one stroke. I will say it's pretty smooth. That's the first time I'm using uh, even the Feather Pro Blades. I've never used, used them at all before. It's nice. 
You definitely feel the blade in your face, definitely. So you have to use it with care and you know, next to no pressure at all. You don't wanna you don't wanna use a lot of pressure because you will definitely cut yourself. Now, one thing, I've never used the mongoose, but I've seen a lot of pictures of it and I've seen people shave with it. Um, this is a much, I guess, thinner head and uh, it, I'm sure, is easier under the nose there to get those hairs. Um, this is heavy, definitely heavy hair, and, and none of those other ones are uh, stainless steel. So... I'm sure that uh, that's a big reason for the heft here, but I mean, it's not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Uh, first impression, that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go past two. I'm just going to rinse up. Apparently the brush is not 316L stainless steel, um, which means I guess the 316L is more uh, corrosion resistant and I believe it's 306. I'm going to put probably on the screen, it's showing it right now exactly what it is. But um, so I'm, I'm told or I've read that it isn't 316L. Um, it's a, a bit of a lower quality, but uh, honestly, I, I don't expect to have any problems with it. I mean, it's still stainless steel. It's going to be um, it's going to be pretty resistant to rust as it is, uh, you know, much better than your pot metal stuff that, you know, uh, a lot of other razors come in. So I'm not too worried about that. But obviously, time will tell. And if anything changes, I'll let you know. Now, obviously, this is a uh, it's a premium product, stainless steel. Uh, you know, very well machined. This is a nice product, and so the price is you know gonna match that. And I believe it was uh, it was one eighty five that this was going for. Um, so it's definitely something that uh, you know you'd have to you know it's not for everybody, definitely. Um, it is a premium product, but if this is something that you enjoy doing and uh, definitely, you know, this is one of those things that's going to be like something you're going to pass on to your kids if you ever have this. Uh, you're going to have this for a long time and this is going to last and you're going to pass that on. So uh, it is it is a nice, um, it's a nice tool, but certainly there's tools that you can do this for an absolute fraction of what this costs and that's okay. Uh, but for those that are looking, that are okay to spend that, um, it is a good product so far. I mean, I'm really enjoying this really nice smooth shave. Uh, no problems at all. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, coming from someone that uses a DE89 Edwin Jacker as a daily driver, um, it is a bit more aggressive. You can feel the blade on there much more than you can feel it on the Edwin Jacker, but it's a nice smoothness. And I really do like that Feather Pro blade too. It's really nice. You can, you can feel the blade. Definitely, you can feel it. You know it's there. But it's smooth. Yeah, you're not getting any resistance. It's just nice and smooth. Um, if you're used to using an Edwin Jagger D89, like a Parker head, uh, you know, definitely ease up even a little bit more on that pressure uh, on your face. Uh, you know, you really want nothing. You just want to let it glide. It's a heavier razor, so it's gonna, it's you know, just let it do its thing. You know, just let it glide. Don't have to push it in. Uh, be very gentle with this, treat this with respect, and it's going to treat your face with respect. So, that's my first impression. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rinse off. Uh, that's my shave here. I'm just doing a two-pass. So I'm going to go ahead, rinse off, and I'll be right back. I'm going to use that aftershave. Can't wait. So that was my first shave with this. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, at this point, i got to say, i got zero regrets about this. This is everything that I was hoping it was going to be. Um, so that's for me personally. This is my first impression. Uh, I'm going to be using this now uh, quite a bit going forward, so I th I'll do um, you know an update for you guys later on in the future, let you know how things still are going. So keep a lookout for that. But I would say uh, for a first impression review, it's first impression is a good one. So I'm happy with that. Now let's go to <laughs> my new aftershave lotion. Listen, I love this scent. I have loved this scent since the first time I tried the, the Perazzo Sandalwood Cream. I just knew that was the scent for me. I just absolutely loved it. Nothing has changed. I always get the best shave with it. Um, and wow, I gotta tell you, first off, 
Um, I did get a really, really nice close shave with just two passes there. Um, I shaved yesterday, so there was, uh, there was 24 hours of, uh, of beard growth here, but it feels really nice and smooth. So really nice and efficient um, razor, that, uh, that Bamboo SE1. Okay, now, without further ado, let's try this Perazzo. And, oh man, this stuff... It smells just like the Prorazzo soap, the, the sandalwood soap. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. So it's got sandalwood oil and shea oil, it says. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is nice. Oh, that feels so nice. I'm going to put a little bit more. Man, I've been waiting forever for this stuff. Oh, I can't believe it. It's so nice. So I've got a bit of a burn. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful stuff. Oh, man. That is nice. I'm happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, comment on the videos. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. If you've used these products, interested in what you have to say about my video. Hopefully you liked it, and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>